Good morning, class. Welcome back to my class. This is Miss Solar, Science Grade 5. If you look at this picture, you can see something that is so unique about this city. And the uniqueness is from the color. The color is green. So many trees on there. If you remember in the class we had today, I was, we were able to discuss about what makes this city so unique. It has a lot of trees, a lot of green, and we are going to learn more about this green city. And the topic for today's lesson is green cities. We are going to look at what makes them unique and why are we calling them green cities. We are going to look at those characteristics of them. The title for today's class is Green Cities. We are looking at Unit 8, Lesson 2, Exploration 2, Be Going Green. How these cities, they go green. This picture, you can see the building there. It has plants on the wall. Green wall, we call this green wall. And any city that we go green, most of the building we have this green wall and it's very very important in making the environment to be clean taking in the carbon dioxide and giving fresh oxygen to the atmosphere and to the people living in the building cities around the country are doing what they can to reduce fossil fuel use recycle and improve energy efficiency and we're talking about the energy efficiency, we are talking about how to use less energy to get the same amount of work or service for a product. And these cities we are talking about, they are using more of this in order to reduce the use of energy, especially the non-renewable resources. And this makes them so unique. They recycle a lot and they improve the energy efficiency on what they are using in the city. How are these cities going green? Cities around the world have found creative ways to help the environment. And we're going to look at those creative ways that they are using to help the environment. We are going to look at the images one by one and doing to reduce the fossil fuel. If you look at this park, there are so many things unique about this park. Number one is that you have a, the color is so green. They have a lot of plants, grasses, a lot of things that you can see that make the environment to be green and also there's something that they are using for the energy and that is the solar panel getting the energy from the sunlight for their electricity so they are not using any fossil fuel at all it has trees and this park is from texas it has a variety of wildlife and the park uses renewable sources for its energy and was built with environmentally friendly materials, which make this city to be a green city. When you use less of non-renewable resources, like fossil fuels, and you use renewable resources, then you go green. Another one is trusted system that run on clean energy firms. Many cities transit systems are now offering a clean and safe way to get around from buses to rail cars to electric vehicles and also the metro. Most of them are running on renewable resources like the wind and the sunlight using the solar panel. All these are examples of what the cities around the world are using to go green so that they be able to have clean environment and use less of fossil fuels. We are going to look at another one. This picture is showing the path for the bicycle. If you look at some of the cities that are going green around the world today, they have separate place. They have separate places for bike, designated parts and nails to roll on ropes provide bicycle enthusiasts with safe transportation options. 
Even if you don't have your bicycle, if you get there, you are able to rent a bicycle, a bike for you. Instead of you, instead of using cars all the time. And this will reduce the use of energy, especially non-renewable resources, the petrol and everything. You, you don't need any, or you don't need any energy to ride a bike. The energy that you need to ride your bike is from your own body, and which is very, very healthy for you. It makes you to keep fit. So, this is another example of cities that are going green all over the world. They have more places, designated parts for bicycles and for people to walk on. Looking at this picture, the roof is made up of plants. This type of roof, roof is called green roof and we're using this in order to in order to remove so many carbon dioxide from the atmosphere green rooftops help help cool the air as well as remove carbon dioxide and pollutants which make the air for us to breathe so many green cities they have their roofs made up of plants the plants, we call it green roof because they have plants on the roof of the building. Even some by the side as they have the green walls, they have the green roofs. It removes a lot of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Because as you are giving out carbon dioxide from your respiration, the plants are using the carbon dioxide from you and releasing oxygen for, you, for your use. So this is very, very important in cities that are green. Look at the picture once again. Even at the, at the top of the roof, you can see the solar panel, um, which to show us that they are using sunlight as their source of energy, not from the fossil fuel, not from the petrol, not, not from the natural gas. And these are very important for cities that are going green. Another characteristic of Green City is that they have extensive recycling programs in many cities, provide recycling bins and reliable connection service to all city businesses and residents. Yes, they, they give attention to recycling. If you look at this picture, you have the recycling for newspapers, for papers, for cars, you have for the plastic bottles, you have for the clear gas, glass, the brown glass, and the green glass. They pay attention, they put more attention to recycling. In the shopping malls, anywhere you go in the park, they have extensive recycling programs. So these are, this is another way to make a green city. This is very, very important. Looking at this picture, we can see the solar panel and we can see the wind turbine. Wind is a renewable resource. You have wind every day. You don't have to pay for it. Sunlight every day, you don't have to pay for it. Compared to the fossil fuels that takes about thousands of years before you can replace it. So this is, Another characteristic of cities that are going green. Many big cities are installing wind turbines and solar panel arrays to increase their use of renewable energy resources. And we have them all over. Now, we are going to compare these two pictures together. The first one is green city and this one is a traditional city. If you look at this the first one, the green city, it has tree. It has trees. This one, no tree. The first one, it has the wind turbine. That is, is getting the energy from wind. But here, nothing like that. Look at the atmosphere; it's very clean. But the second picture, the, atmos the atmosphere is not is not clean. It's full of pollution. And if you look at the building, you can see that is the the wall is green. 
and the rooftop green, but this one no. So we can also help to protect our environment if you also can start planting. You can start with tomato seed. Tell your mom, mom, don't throw away that tomato seed I want to plant. You can plant in our kitchen, in our bedroom, even in our city room, in the garden outside, so that we can keep our green. In summary, green technologies use renewable resources, especially sunlight and wind. Also, green walls help cool down and clean the air. Start going green is very, very important. Thank you. See you in the next class. And your assignments will be on the, will be online. And make sure you do it and submit it on time. Bye.